Hey guys, uh, I'll try to make this intro pretty short. Uh, we have a customer that wanted to turn a heating grate into a coffee table. Uh, the project has taken a lot longer than expected. As you know, in most of my videos, uh, in the intros, we show it. Um, it's finally done. Uh, midnight metallic uh, with a clear coat. Looks looks badass, so very happy. Uh, we've had time to mess with the X1 Reaper machine right over there in the corner. Um, so, so far, haven't had no problems. We've done two coats, we've done three coats and no issues with that. We're just working on the fluidizer. The cup part, I've had no issues with. The fluidizer, uh, one of my buddies gave me some numbers. So on my own personal projects, I will try that out and see if the exhaust helps, if it doesn't help. Uh, so we'll just see where how that turns out. We have a couple projects coming up. We have a chair over here in the corner, right there. Uh, the customer wants it in gold. We also have put in the conversion kit or the tap kit for the mirror blaster for the pop blaster and hooking it up to the media cabinet. We have that video coming up. I do apologize that we haven't had many videos. We've been swamped here. And if I don't start a video in the beginning part of a project, uh, there's no sense in just recording the last part of it. So uh, unless we record it, remember to record in the beginning, um, it's just lost uh, footage. So uh, sorry about that, but I'll try to get better on uh, remembering to uh, record these projects. So, okay, uh, enjoy this video. Of course, if you have any questions, contact us on our Facebook uh, Messenger. Uh, that's probably the best way to get a hold of us. Green Mountain Media Blast and Powder Coating. Uh, we'll answer any questions that you guys may have. Uh, please, if you get a chance, like and subscribe to our channel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, the final outlook on it, or outcome on it. Uh, so, this episode... Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Now restart that. <laughs> I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play. Hey guys, as a lot of you guys know, I've had this great project for a while. Um, we blasted some of it and we found that there was an orange coating underneath the top layer. Uh, initially, we weren't gonna blast in the middle, in the little square holes, uh, just for uh, cost effectiveness. Um, but since we're finding that orange uh, layer in there, uh, we've been honing out every single square and it's pretty much been tedious we've been working on it a couple weeks now putting a few hours a week in on it um, on this one and the circular one so hopefully today i can finish it all up we got about four hours here so hopefully i can do it in that time so uh we'll see how it goes Turning back, told the world how. 
guys. Uh, so working on this great. Uh, thank goodness the customer is understanding. Uh, I've had this thing for quite a while. Uh, there, when I figured, found out that there was orange stuff below the first layer, um, I had to figure out how to get it. Um, and blasting is tedious with that. So I ended up uh, getting a, a hone or a bore like you'd use on a gun, just a little bit bigger, an uh, inch and a quarter. So I went through and did that, got all the scale, and I realized that that's just not eating through uh, everything. Um, so uh, I'm resorting to blasting every square all over this. Um, okay, I'll show you it now. Okay, okay, so you can see that I'm uh, working on the top. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, you can kind of see the coloration difference between this not done and this side done. Well, that not done. <laughs> done, not done. But with these grates, the part I don't like is no matter how much work you do, they were cast rough. So that's going to show through the powder um, just because it's all rough cast because it's not really made to be a table. But honestly, I think it's going to be badass when it's done. Um, I've used about shit, six bags of media already on this uh, just because, I mean, you can kind of see there how color difference into that right there. The... Eastwood and this setup for my Mara blasters. I love it. Um, I can't say enough about it. It works perfectly. Um, we did get the extension or not extension, but the adapter for the pop blaster or for the pop blaster to the blast cabinet. Um, and we will do that here, a video here pretty shortly. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna continue working on this and um, it's starting to look good. I'm almost done this round cap and then I'll get to the rest of, yeah, I wish you'd be able to see how clean that is and then it goes into brown. Then it goes back into clean, but. Okay guys, uh, we'll see where we can go from here. Okay guys, so. As you see, we finally blast them all off. We got this one over here, uh, the bigger gray over there. Now we're gonna take the Eastwood pre-painting prep and we're gonna get it all washed down, get any of the particles off it from the blasting. Gonna go at a couple different angles because inside the squares. Okay, now, since we got that, now we're gonna do a little bit of fire. This is not a job for people that are pyros. If you're a pyro, don't do powder coating. And you also have to know how to operate a lighter. What was that? I'm not worried right now. All I'm trying to do is take some of the liquid off it. Just because we didn't use anything with lint this time. Because this cast is so rough, if we'd have used anything with lint, it would have just pulled it off from the cloth or whatever we were using. It have made a bigger mess. So we're just drying any of the paint pre-prep off. I 
actually readjusted this. Uh, make sure when you're adjusting things, make sure like your hooks aren't laying up against something because it'll make a void. Uh, I know we may have a slight void in here, but that's fine because the great center cover comes over this. Uh, so I'm not so worried about that. And then on the back, if you look on the back, I'm gonna have a void just in my corners here. So, well, let's see where we go from here. So, my area is limited. So we're gonna have this pulled out. Uh, we already tested, whoops, we already tested a little bit with the cup. Uh, we had it on 40, 50, uh, 100 and 100, and it was just blowing out too much out of the cup. I brought it back to 30 and 30. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. And pretty much now we're gonna be making a mess because everything is more or less out in the open. Oh, it's not wanting to get inside at all. lane fast call it high speed i've been working hard yeah i've been working nightly if you think you'll win ha nah likely i'd be taking shots yeah cold-blooded icy watching numbers grow is what i call sightseeing in the front row run it up when they hype me the following grows they know how to ignite me call me ceo i've been running sh right see and i ain't playing games i create my own lane making pleasure out of pain uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a f***ing name, I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain, I just wanna be greatness Going off every chance I get I don't really take a loss, well I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah I commit And no I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock cause it's faster than any crypto You all know like one of our biggest nightmares are Faraday cages And these are hundreds of little Faraday cages Every one of those squares So we had this set normally Um, I don't remember what it was i think 30 30. It, 30 30 or something like that uh so we ended up boosting up um boosting up the air to try to push the powder in um so this time we actually also brought up the powder to bring it to 40. so it's going to be like a massive amount of uh a cloud of powder but i'm feeling that's the only way to force through that faraday cage and get it to stick inside it's not like a regular rim where we don't want that huge cloud uh, right now we want whatever we can get to blow through these um, so we're gonna try the 4040 if it doesn't work we'll readjust it and hopefully we can figure out the kinks before we get to the circular one okay so we are 40 40 let's see what ooh lots of powder Now I can't use that. You, you can't say things like that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, but that's what is I can't use. Why? Thought you said you wanted. Yeah, but not like sexual banter. Honey, that's not about sex. That's just like we like each other. I'm just hoping. 
What are you thinking? So much wasted powder. Holy crap. But that's why we got extra in case we had to blow through these. Okay, so the reason you do the back first is why? Framing. Even though we only did the back, we haven't done the front. It's thicker around the edges, that's how it's framing. So now when we go over it, it'll just level it all out. And then... Hey guys, okay. So we ended up getting this out. We got the circular one out. Uh, they actually look pretty good. Um, my only issue is some of these deep corners. It's light. Um, like, yes, you don't really notice, but when I put a light on it, I notice it. Um, the customer has told me uh, he's not really worried about the inside so much, but me, I have pride in my work, so if it's going to go out, I want it to look the best as it can. Uh, I let it cool down. We're looking at about 111 degrees right now. So I already put a little bit up in the corner just to make test to make sure I'm not going to hot flock. Um, since I'm since it's not melting, that means I'm not going to hot flock. I'm going to go over it with a light coat. I do this with a lot. Uh, anything that I do do, uh, four wheeler frames, anything like that, I will put in the oven. I will bake it. I'll get it to flow out. I'll take it out and look it over. Um, cause that's pretty much the only time that you can fix any issues with it. Um, then if I see a couple of spots that are kind of light, I will bring it out, do what I'm doing now. Just a nice, even light coat, uh, and then put it back in. And that usually takes care of all the issues. Um, so I suggest to always do that because after you cure it, if you get it out and there's uh, light spots, you're kind of screwed. So, um, yeah. So we're going to take care of this and do a light coat on both of them just to make me happy. And then we'll get to the clear coating. One of the advantages of doing it over uh, flowed out powder is like right now i'm actually looking for any shiny spots so even those ones that got it really really light and it looks like nothing's there there is something there and it will be shiny so when you're going over it like this doing a light coat all you're trying to do is get all the shiny spots taken care of couple shiny spots that we had to deal with on that ridge. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, guys. Uh, so we have finally got them out after doing the second coat on both of them. Uh, there's no thin spots. Um, so now, if you look on the machine, uh, on our machine, the second one in is your complicated uh, Faraday cage uh, setting. So right here, I know other people say it differently, but the manufacturer way to do it on this and a lot of other machines is your top coat, your Faraday cage, and your dual coat. Uh, I know some people switch those around, but this is the right way that they go on the FX or KFX1 or the X1 Reaper. Same machine. Uh, so don't be fooled by other people. Okay, so we got clear coat. Uh, we're doing 30 air, 40 powder. 100 kb 26 microamps we'll see how that sticks which is good it's going into all those places i need it to go into that looks good Okay, so we just did it on the back. Remember, uh, you get framing. It's not only on rims, you get framing on things like this. So when we turn it around, even though we didn't do the front, you'll see where there's a buildup. And that's why we do the fronts last and the backs first. Because if you do the backs last, then the framing buildup will stay. Um, I mean, heck, you can see. So apparently our settings are spot on because anything that came through wrapped around and clung to it. So with all the framing that you see, we're gonna just go and give it a nice even clear coat. There you go.